Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm going to say our blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the Universe, who chose us from... Ugh, sorry. Who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you sing the words of your Torah in our mouths, and in the mouths of all your people, Israel, may we, and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, you King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence and light you may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Jeremiah 33, 25-26 and Matthew 12, 46-13, Thus says Yahweh, if I have not established my covenant with day and night in the fixed order of heaven and earth, then I will reject the offspring of Jacob and David my servant, and will not choose one of his offspring to rule over the offspring of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for I will restore their fortunes and will have mercy on them. While he was still speaking to the people, behold, his mother and his brothers stood outside asking to speak with him. But he replied to the man who told him, Who is my mother, and who are you, my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. That same day Yeshua went out of the house and sat beside the sea, and great clouds, and great crowds gathered about him. So that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell among the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprung up, and since they did, they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no roots, they withered away. Other seeds fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain, and some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. Then the disciples came to him, Why do you speak to them in parables? And he answered them, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it has not been given. For to, for to the one who has, more will be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. Indeed, in their case, the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled that says, you will indeed hear, but never understand, and you will indeed see, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and with their ears they can barely hear, and their eyes they have closed. Lest they should be, oops, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I will heal them. But bless are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear, for truly I say to you, many prophets and righteous people have longed to see what you see. And did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and did not hear it. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what has been sown in his heart. This is what is sown along the path. As for what is sown on rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy, yet he has no root in himself, but endures for a while and when tribulation and persecution arises on account of the word, immediately he falls away. As for what was sown among the thorns, this is the one who hears the word. But the cares of the world and the deceitfulness and riches choke the word, and it provokes un oops, it proves unfruitful. As for what is sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it. He indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold. And another sixty, and another thirty. He puts another parable before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man so, who sowed good seed in his field. But while his men were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared also. And the servants of the master of the house 
came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have weeds? He said to them, An enemy has done this. So their servant said to, them, said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he said, No, lest in gathering the weeds you root up the wheat along with them. Let's both grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time I will tell the reapers, Gather the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned. But gather the wheat into my barn. He put another parable before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like grain of the mustard seed, that a man took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it has grown, it is larger than all the garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven, that a woman took and hid in, tree, in three measures of flour, till it was all leaven. All these things Yeshua said to the crowds in parables, indeed he said nothing to them without a parable. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, I will open my mouth in parables, I will utter what has been hidden since the foundation of the world. Then he left the crowds and went into the, into the house, and his disciples came to him saying, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He answered, The one who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. And good seed is the sons of the kingdom. The weeds are the sons of the evil one. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is at the end of the age. And the reapers are angels. Just as weeds are gathered and burned with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send its angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all causes of sin and lawbreakers. And throw them into the fiery furnace. In a place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who hears, let him hear. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, when a man found, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who on finding one pearl of great value went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like the net that was thrown into the sea and gathered fish of every kind. When it was full, the men drew it ashore and sat down and sorted the good into containers, but threw away the bad. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all these things? I said to him, yes. And he said to them, therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. And when Yeshua had finished these parables, he went away from them and came to his hometown. He taught them in their synagogues so that they were astonished and said where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works it is is not this the carpenter's son it's not his mother called Mary and are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas and are not all his sisters with us where then did this man get all these things and they took offense at him but Yeshua said to them a prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and in his own household. And he did not do mighty works there because of their unbelief. Blessed art thou, Adonai, Eleni, King of the universe, who gave the Torah of truth instead of everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, give the Torah. Brukata, Adonai, Eleni, Malakalo, Mashanatalanu, Tore, Mevashiai, Alom, Natabate, Kinu, Brukata, Adonai, Natina, Torah.